Hey, what's up, you guys? This is just a little, um, hide that, uh, this person, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, Tiggle Bites 1985, um, she bought it, um, I made it completely custom for her, she said that she loves it, uh, we've been in contact, uh, just going over what she wanted, and, um, I think this is um, going to be the final product for her. Uh, I think I'm going to ship it out tomorrow. Uh, but here's her channel. Um, she has some really cool videos of her ball python and leopard gecko. Um, and I think she has a little bit more. Uh, but I'm not really sure. She only has 9 subscribers right now. So just go subscribe to her. Uh, She's, she will make a video of this hide when she gets it for her 10 gallon leopard gecko That's a habitat and it will look awesome so subscribe to keep updated on that video and all of her other videos um, but yeah she ordered this and um, let's get started with what it actually is uh, so, over here on this corner, I was going to show you this inside one of my 10 gallons, but the 10 gallon I was going to use that's empty, um, kind of shattered, so, uh, I'm just going to show you like this. Um, it has a corner over here for, uh, a hide, and... Um, it just goes up against the glass and up against the glass here to um, just kind of see the animal when it's hiding. And it um, can enter back here. Um, it does stand up like this with a little bit of support from uh, right here to keep it completely balanced um, when it is in the aquarium. Uh, I have two fake plants on here so far. Um, she said that she was going to put a fake cactus around right there. And another fake plant around over there somewhere. And um, she wanted it to be completely decked out. And for it to um, cover the whole tank. So that's what I had tried to do. Um, this plant looks really good in the position that it is. Um, I like it, uh, she does too, and I have a little hole down here, ooh, you can see my finger, um, a little hole down there for if it wants to climb down, or another hole right there, um, it is, um, it has a little skeleton of, uh, popsicle sticks that I glued together, and then I took expanding foam, and made the whole design of it and um, covered everything up and then put sand on it while it was still wet and um, that way when it dried the sand would be um, kind of like sandpaper a really smooth sandpaper not enough to harm it but enough to help it shed or um, let it have traction um, so that's something cool about it um, it has this really cool fake plant right here that she picked out. Um, she picked out this plant and this plant. She um, really liked those. Um, and so I stuck them down in the foam and took some hot glue and covered around them and then put some extra sand. Um, and just so you know, the sand, um, it's calcium sand. And none of it will come off. I've already shaken all the sand off. I've washed it with water and everything, so it is not coming off, not going to be digested. And um, it really has a natural feel and look to it. Um, the camera doesn't really pick up all the colors, but it actually looks very nice. Um, it will fit up, like, flat with the glass, um, so it will look like it's kind of coming out of the glass. And, um, upside down it has some more rocky texture and, um, just looks. And 
it looks pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Um, but that's her hide that she bought from HerpsRock.com. And um, hope she likes it. And if anyone else wants to buy something like this, um, just send me a PM or go to HerpsRock.com and sp send me an email um, about pricing and everything like that. It's not too expensive, and it um, definitely will look great for the animal that you will put it in. Um, so, thanks for watching, and go subscribe to that person. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce your username. Tig Old Bites. Go subscribe to them. I will have a link in the description. So go subscribe to them. And thanks for watching.